Phil Fogg has the same line a lot of us do. Yeah. I mean, the last year has been uh, challenging. He's president of Marquee Companies in Oregon, which runs health services like Senior Living and Consanus Pharmacy. Consanus is one of only seven non-retail pharmacies in the nation approved by the CDC to provide the COVID vaccine. It'll be among the first in Oregon and Washington to distribute it to senior care facilities. And that will start next Monday. Long-term care patients will get it first, followed by assisted living, then retirement communities. It's built around who's the most at risk, who's the most fragile. Agile or compromised. While we're waiting to get the word. Kevin Stottleman helps run the Summerfield Estates Retirement Community in Tigard. People living there are on the early list to get the vaccine from CVS. They're very excited and they're waiting. They ask, they've been asking every day now. The timeline is up in the air, but he hopes vaccinations will start at Summerfield around January 10th. It's going to be a party. But it will take several months to get senior communities vaccinated. Probably the most challenging thing for our resident population is not being able to see their families. I understand that once you get a vaccine, that doesn't necessarily change a lot of the precautions that you're taking, what might that look like? You know, we won't just open the doors. That still means masks, distancing, and mandatory quarantine for those who leave to visit friends and family outside. So far, Summerfield has had zero COVID cases, but a challenge with the vaccine. For those who are not willing to get one, what will that conversation look like as well? You know, they're very nervous, but you know what? It's something we got to do. Okay, we survived because everybody played the same rules. We all make the right decision together to make sure everybody stays safe. This vaccine is providing hope. And as Phil's company gets ready to vaccinate the first seniors in Oregon and Washington, his message to everyone else is about patience and maintaining precautions through spring and possibly summer. We're going to move from an environment where we're allocating scarce resources to where we're going to get plenty of vaccine to be able to, to give to the entire community. I'm Galen Etlin for KGW News.